All right, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Uh, we've got a new car. It's not from the junkyard. It's actually from the auctions. It's this. It's a Nissan. Nissan. What? Who? It's a Nissan GTR. Look at it. It's a. It's it's a new GTR, and it's actually a Nissan. It's not a Ribsan Starline. It's a Nissan Skyline GTR. 2008 R35, it comes with 530 horsepower on a twin turbocharged V6 dual hybrid cam, I believe. Uh, and it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty rough. So we're going to work on it. We're going to fix it up, make it beautiful, see how fast it is. I haven't really, I think I've, I've driven one of these barely in this game, but it was stock. So we're obviously going to make ours not stock and make it very fast and very scary. It's got an all wheel drive, so actually I think it'll probably drive pretty well. So what we're going to do, well, maybe we'll just pull off some of these body panels quick because it's looking a little rough. Or actually, mm, you know what? Time out. Let's, let's wash it. It's weird because we're gonna wash the body panels that we have in our pockets. They're in our pockets, you can see, um, by doing this, which is kind of strange. But let's wash the outside, let's wash the inside. <clears throat> then we'll remove some body panels. We can, you know, fix the frame. Oh, it's blue! Well, who knew? It's a nice, beautiful light blue. Interior's looking a little a little dirty, a little iffy. It's clean now. It still looks a little iffy. Okay, cool. How's our how's our value? Have we made any money? I don't think so. We bought it for like uh, seventy something thousand because we had to buy it at the auction. You don't find these babies at the junkyard. These are auctioned. Uh, so yeah, we're not gonna make any money anytime soon. We've lost ah eleven thousand five hundred. You know, it's okay. I mean, it's missing some a, a door and stuff now. But hey, okay. So let's see. Let's remove the body panels. Let's remove our trunk. It's fun. Big old bumper, big old fat boy bumper. Uh, our other door. We got this window. We've got this other fender. Take away our headlight. Our other headlight. Look at that intercooler just hanging out. Oh, can I just? That's fun. Large intercooler. Okay, cool. This is gonna be really fun to check out though, and and actually try to upgrade. I haven't really worked on one of these at all, um, so it should be pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm, looking, look, I'm looking forward to it. But what we're gonna do? We got that done, let's move it into the garage. And now that we do that, we can go ahead and just fix the body. It's a nice little thing we can do to make it look nicer, and well, we'll want to do it at some point, so. The body's actually not in that bad of shape. The frame is pretty good, but I'm sure it's on 100%, so we'll do it. And we can get that out of here. And then now, we're, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this up in the air, I'm gonna fix the suspension, I'm gonna fix the brakes. I am gonna put the best brake rotors on, I'm gonna put those like um, carbon ceramic super nice boys on there. Um, and I'll probably do some different wheels, larger wheels, smaller tires. Um, and yeah, we'll get it going, we'll get it looking good. I'll probably switch out the exhaust with as much performance stuff as I can. And then I'll just get all the suspension and everything happy. We'll do that off camera because it's, yeah, it's really not that different. It's, all the suspensions are kind of the same. Actually, this one's got kind of a cool suspension. Ooh, well, it's, I don't know if it's a cool suspension, but it has a really, really cool rear gearbox. Ooh, probably some like torque vectoring differential. Who knows? Uh, it's pretty cool looking. Other than that, it's not that different though. This, this rear suspension cross member is pretty cool. It's pretty unique. I mean, all the parts are kind of there, but I will say the actual cross member is pretty cool. Other than that, it's not that crazy. It's all wheel drive, you know. It's a, it's a suspension. What's the front look like? I'm guessing, again, fairly standard. Uh, yeah, we've got Actually, a very weird-looking gear. Oh, it's like a flywheel cover. Oh, flywheel cover. Wow, this is interesting. So the transfer case is down here. Wow, that's kind of fun. Well, we'll get to this, especially when we put it together. We'll we'll kind of get to this. But that's actually really interesting. Um, other than that, front sus uh, front suspension cross member, not super crazy. It's pretty thick, like pretty pretty sturdy boy. There, we got our twin turbo. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna get this fix fixed, get the wheels swapped, get the everything figured out, get the exhaust all upgraded as much as I can, and then we'll be right back. It's gonna take me a while, but it's gonna take you not long. All right, well, that was a lot of work, but we got it done. We're back to the gold rims. Sorry, they're gold. That's just like the default color. I don't plan on keeping them gold, I don't think, maybe? Who knows, maybe it's grown on me, I don't know. No, probably not. <clears throat> um, you can see we got shiny exhaust because it's uh, it's performance. It's cool. Um, and actually, I didn't realize. Well, we'll actually see this better when we, when we assemble it completely. But well, I, I did replace this rear gearbox with the performance version, which is cool. But this thing actually has two two drive shafts. I didn't even pay attention. So the the main drive shaft from the 
well, from the flywheel. It's direct from the flywheel all the way back here, which is crazy. There's no transmission in front. It's right here. So he goes, engine, but it'll be a clutch, I guess. In real life, it's probably, what, like a torque converter because it's an automatic. Um, <clears throat> back to this gearbox to turn the rear wheels and then distribute it back out of this gearbox to the front. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's crazy. It's really interesting. Um, but hey, we got it done. There was a ton of bushings. More bushings than I think I've ever had in any car. Lots of suspension stuff going on. Pretty cool. But, I mean, like, standard-ish for the most part because it's car mechanic simulator. So, let's get the engine out of the car. Uh, we've already got the oil drained out. We've got, I think, everything disconnected. We should be able to get the engine out. Our twin turbo dual overhead cam V6. Out she goes. And uh, we'll leave that. Actually, maybe we take... Maybe I'll come back and just do this accessory stuff later when we're done. Yeah. Mm, yeah, sure. It's not that interesting. It's, it's, I mean, it's standard in every car. So let's look at our engine. What was cool about the suspension, I got to say, is because all it was in at least like reasonably good shape, I was able to pretty much repair everything that was repairable. Um, some parts just aren't. But uh, the engine, well, we'll actually be able to repair quite a bit here too, but we're going to be replacing a lot with performance parts. Like, hopefully we'll be replacing both of our turb skis and our pistons and hopefully like our heads and a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, super interesting engine. Let's tear into it. It's an engine cover. It calls it an engine cover. It looks like more than just an engine cover, but let's see. Oh, yeah, no, that is just an engine cover. Okay, cool. We've got dual throttle bodies, which makes sense. Dual intakes on this. Dual intakes, dual turbochargers, dual fun, dual awesome, dual great. Okay, good stuff. Intake manifold. It's one big solid piece, but with like two sides. So that's interesting. Okay, we've got fuel rail. Fuel rail, we should be able to upgrade those fuel rails. That's weird looking, what is that? It's probably the engine head. What is that weird looking thing there? Huh, maybe to actuate like flaps in the, eh, or maybe like variable valve timing? I don't know what that is, some huge looking solenoid. Okay, we've got intake manifold down here. We've got, so it's a kind of a dual part intake manifold. Good stuff, These some of these bolts in here are looking a little, a little sad. Get this pulled off. Hello. Can I have my stuff? Thank you. Okay. Good. Uh, coil packs all the way around. Nope. Fine. Whatever. Six cylinder. Uh, we can replace, obviously, our, we'll upgrade our coil packs, our uh, spark plugs. Probably a decent amount of stuff. I think we are going to push some pretty good horsepower from this engine once we get it all put back together with performance parts. I think it's going to be a pretty potent little engine. I mean, it was already very, very potent. 530 horsepower. Uh, you know, this was a car that set big time Nurburgring records. And uh, it still is, I mean, come on. It'd be amazing. GTR, right? Like, it's like every, every, like, YouTuber's car, right? That's, I mean, like, sort of, maybe. Some people, yes. It'd be awesome. It'd be great. Um, you can do a lot with them, even, I mean, in, 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 in real life, you can do a lot with a GTR to make it stupid faster than it already is. A lot of really interesting aftermarket stuff out there for them. <clears throat> but for us, in Car Mechanic Simulator, maybe not as much. Okay, so we got some interesting cam gear. That would be like a variable valve timing there, probably. Sometimes that's like magnetically actuated. So yeah, it looks like probably would be like, mag mag like magnetically actuated variable valve timing, most likely. So we need to remove the entire oil pan, which requires us to move the oil filter and then the entire oil pan which is looking a little crusty but i'm guessing we'll be able to repair it we should be able to fix pretty much everything in this um that we don't want to replace with something better so that's that's cool timing cover has a lot of bolts Woohoo! that's a massive timing cover can you imagine you get an oil leak from the timing cover like you gotta pull all that apart again yeah that'd be fun not so bad when you got the uh, engine on an engine stand, but not sure. Oh, we got the brake shoe or time shoe. Well, brake shoe. Whoop. Timing shoe. Okay, holding our timing chain tensioned. That's a big timing chain. We oh, we got another shoe up top. Interesting. We wouldn't have a tensioner of some sort on the timing chain. Just shoes. That probably not. But you know, it's still close to probably how it works in real life. Cam gear B. Cam gear A. 
Same deal over here. I gotta memorize this uh, number V, this like VQ37VHR, cause there's a few parts in here that are that. Yikes, I might just try VHR. Hopefully that'll work. <coughs> uh, wow, another part of the time we go, holy cow. Our uh, alternator's gonna get replaced with performance version and more bolts to hold on the other side of the timing cover. This is intense. Okay, fuel filter, we can upgrade that. We are getting down to our engine heads. So we've got camshaft caps on one of the camshafts that sits a bit higher. Might get a better look at that actuator once we pull the other side apart. Oh boy, thought I was... Really interesting looking camshaft. Wait, are there actually rocker arms? No, okay, it's calling that whole assembly a rocker arm. Okay, this is a camshaft cap. Wait, okay, so that was actually just a single rocker arm? A big rocker arm assembly? These are actually the camshafts. No, rocker arm. Cam okay, I'm a little confused. All right, wow, interesting. Very interesting. Let's get these pulled off. We're gonna also hopefully be able to upgrade these turbos, which should get us some pretty good power. Engine head. These are all falling that 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 number skew thing ending in VHR. So we're gonna probably try to go with that to find performance parts. Ah, the reflection. Stop it. Piston standard. Yep. Yeah, Piston with Conrad. Cool. Okay. Wow. It's a uh, it's an involved engine. It's pretty different. Definitely unique, which is fun. I've never looked at this one at all, so. Hope you feel good to get some very nice shiny parts in here. Get all these rusty bolts out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this turbocharger off. And we'll do the same rocker arm here. So we've got a camshaft cap over this like rocker arm assembly thing. Wow. So that, I don't fully understand what that's doing. Cause obviously down here, the it's calling it a rocker arm, but it's really a camshaft. It's depressing the valves, but then it's also pushing on this rocker arm or something. So interesting. I don't, I don't fully understand. Oh no, it's not. So that's not actually pushing on the valves. So I guess the rocker was? Huh, because it's not actually contacting the valves. Well, to be fair, is either side? Eh, kind of looks like there's a gap, which is weird. I don't know. Not sure. It's kind of weird. that apart and then yeah that's just a big assembly there we don't really get to look into anymore super interesting now I need to like look at some GTR repair manuals like engine manuals or something because it's probably pretty close maybe you think I think they I mean they did partner with Nissan in putting these cars in the game and then let's pull apart the bottom end get our rod caps off pistons are looking a little weird a little bubbly. Probably be good to swap those. Or probably can repair them. Although, wait, pistons will upgrade. Pistons will upgrade. Rings will stay. Crankshaft will stay. You can't ever upgrade the crankshafts in this game. <coughs> okay. Glad it's not any more cylinders, right? All right, out we go, out we go, out you go, see you later, goodbye friend. We got some sad rings in there. Oh yeah, we need to pull apart our clutch and all associated parts. And our block. Okay, let's do the fun part, which is to fix a bunch of stuff. Starter, I took that off earlier. 
And I also took off this. It's just like a flywheel cover. Super interesting. Engine cover, fix it, make it look pretty, nice. Everything is gonna go to 100%. Uh, throttle bodies, we should be able to upgrade. So I really don't need to spend money upgrading or fixing them, but I guess I'm going to just because I'm a robot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Why are we, we're just gonna do it. Maybe I'll sell them for enough to justify my, I mean, the, the, I will say the repair costs are so low, like 60 credits, stuff like that to fix this. So <clears throat> pretty small amounts of money. It doesn't feel too bad. Our oil pan, what was that? The power steering pump, looks like. Uh, timing cover, second part maybe. Uh, water pump, yep. Alternator, we're gonna replace that. Other part of the timing cover. We've got our camshafts, we should probably be able to replace those. Turb ski, engine head. Probably not gonna be able to upgrade the cover, so that'd be good. We'll just fix another turbo. <laughs> fix another camshaft. Fix it. Engine head. May or may not be able to replace. We will definitely repair the rod caps. Makes no sense. You could not repair a rod cap. Like, nor would you want to. The tolerances are so small on crankshaft bearing caps and rod caps. You would never want to try to fix one. It basically makes sense. It's not possible to fix one. But it is in this game. And I'm not complaining. Almost done. We're getting there. These are always in such bad shape. Usually I'm going to fix them. I'm going to replace... I don't know how we're fixing a clutch plate either. That makes no sense. Like, yeah, just stick some more friction material on there. Uh, we will definitely fix the block. That will be good. Okay. Um, I guess we'll see how do we do there. So if we look at our engine, we sort by sad condition. Okay. We got to get a bunch of good stuff down here. Yeah, we got some stuff to fix. So that's okay. Let's just go through it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our block back on. I know the crankshaft's not gonna be upgradable. Uh, pistons will be. Let's get into the shop. Piston. Pisto. We're gonna need six of these. And actually, uh, we're gonna need six piston rings. Okay, um, I'm also just gonna look. What do we got here? VHR, what do you got for me? Both camshafts. Um, that's on each head, I think. We've got both heads are replaceable. Two exhaust manifolds, one for each side. Two fuel rails, one for each side. Man, intake manifold A, intake manifold B. We'll need two throttle bodies. No turbos? Wow, really? B, Q, three, seven. Dang, no turbos. Well, I guess it's gonna fix them. I'm surprised. I am really shocked by that. The turbo is the same. Uh, oh, that's why. VR38 DETT. Boom. That's how that goes. Nice. Ooh, I think the intake manifold is the same. And we're doing this in kind of a weird order. I apologize for that. Um, it's the most important part, though, you know, figuring out how much power we can get. Okay, yeah, D E T T, intake manifold B, intake manifold B. I'm gonna have to look at that as we get there. Yeah, we might. We're gonna look at this one as we get there. Okay, camshaft caps, timing chain shoe, da -da 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 -da. yeah, bunch of stuff. Fuel filter. I know I can do that. Oh, yep, yep. Fuel filter, cool. All right, um, let's just let's just keep going. Let's just keep installing stuff. Pistons. Good. Yeah, this thing is gonna be filthy, I have a feeling. Wonderful crack a thousand horsepower. Pretty good chance. There's a lot of performance parts in this. Pretty good chance. 
And this thing with a thousand horsepower is gonna be a little scary. But it's all-wheel drive, so I'm hoping it will actually drive fairly well. If it drives badly, man, I'll be sad. I'll be really, really, really sad. I've I've built a lot of cars in this game. I've like restored a lot of cars that then drive really poorly, and it's pretty disappointing. Um, let's do yep. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go clutch plate, clutch plate, flywheel. Uh, let's grab a new release bearing. Gotta get all that put together before we can put the oil pan on, which is different than most vehicles. Uh, power steering pump I-4B might. Power steering pump I-4B? I think so. I-4B. I four B, for not to be. I don't. I don't know. It sounds weird. I four B. Uh, okay. Engine heads. We can go ahead and rotate. That we can rotate. Good. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna run into. No. No. Please. No. Okay. I should just do that. That's so much easier. Uh, all right. Engine heads. Cool. Look at it. It's all performancey because it's got red valves and big red whatever that cylinder thing is. Look at those big red valves. No reason to have red valves. Really. So no rocker arm upgrade, I don't think. But we do have a camshaft A upgrade. Turbo upgrades, yes. Let's do our other engine head. The heads are cool looking. The red's gonna match the engine cover nicely. that so yeah rocker arm b rocker arm a we're gonna figure those out here's our turbos here's our performance turbos shiny shiny very cool good 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 uh intake manifold this is the yeah d-e-t-t -T. This is where we went wrong a little bit. We got misled. Interesting, but. So it's mostly that VHR, but there are a couple DETTs instead of VHR parts. Uh, okay, I've got both fuel rails. Yep. Let's get those rocker arms. So we're not, we don't have any performance versions. So we just gotta get VHR. Uh, rocker arm. There's B, there's A. There's that, and there's... Oh, that wasn't right. What what just happened? That's new. Uh, it's a, oh, they're... Wait. Okay, I'm not sure what happened. B? What happened? I'm not sure what I did wrong. Okay, weird. That's fine. Maybe they're both B? Oh yeah, they're both Bs. Okay, got it. Caps. All right, we gotta fix those. Camshaft cap A, camshaft cap B. Okay. Got it. Boom, 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 boom. I'll have to do some of these little, oh, this is rock arm. Okay, that's where rock arm is. Very confusing. Not really that confusing. But kind of. Uh, okay. Camp shop caps. We're gonna need we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Okay, I'm gonna go and just sell some stuff quick. Cap. Keep organized, very important. Uh camp shop cap, we're in eight. Good. Alright, carry on. We'll need to get spark plugs, performance spark plugs, performance coil packs. Really don't like the reflections. It's a thing that was in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 and was annoying, and it is still here in 2021, and it is still annoying. I don't really get it. Okay, I 
guess we could just nab those spark plugs quick. Um, six. And then... Uh, what are they called? What do they call them? Uh, coils? Nope, that's... Yep, yeah, yeah, ignition coils. Okay. Coils. I'm used to calling them coil packs, but it's okay. Coil is what mattered. There's that side. Let's get our camshaft cap on over here. Things are coming together. This is going to be pretty cool. Then really all we've got to do... Um, I've already repaired some of the body panels. So that's good. There'll be a few that we probably need to purchase. Um, we could paint it. Unless we like the blue. The blue is actually kind of interesting. And then... Um, yeah, I already placed the interior because I figured I'd just do that because it's not—it's kind of boring. Um, yeah, you know, alignment. Um, make sure the head headlights are aligned. Very, you know, important stuff. And then probably go drive it, and hopefully it's amazing. No, oh, we're not gonna put that on because there is a performance version of that. We will put the timing cover on. That's fine. A lot happening on the timing side of this engine. It is a very large engine. Water pump, I don't think there shouldn't be a performance version of that. There is going to be a performance alternator. We could go ahead and, I guess, get that alternator. Just to make sure. No performance water pump. Okay, good. So what I thought. I think we will need a serpentine belt, and we're probably going to need new timing chains. And new cam gears. Okay. VHR, let's get some cam gears. We're gonna need two A's and two B's, I presume. We'll need a chain A and we'll need two B's. Let's grab a shoe of each size. A shoe that fits both feet. That's not how this works. There's our cam gears, cam timing chain. The same on this side. And our big chain, our shoes, and our shoe. Oh, I actually might have fixed that other shoe. I don't remember. It's fine. I got money. I got some money. This thing's probably gonna be worth a lot. It better be worth a lot. It better be worth a lot. I don't know if I'm ever gonna want to sell it, but it's pretty cool. Wow, so many bolts. You're gonna have to get a bunch of idlers probably, and some serpentine belts. Oh yeah. A a a. How about these? We managed to fix those. Let's start there. Start with the things you already got. Get them out of the way. Uh, pinch up fully. We can do the oil pan. The dipstick is pretty aggressive. Not sure. Oh, what an interesting looking oil pan. Oh yeah, it's got that shape because the uh, transaxle and the the transfer case up front have to all fit there. So we need three A's, crankshaft pulley V8. We need at least three A's, there'll probably be more. Crankshaft pulley uh, V8, good. And we'll probably have to get some serpentine belts. Maybe just one, I can't remember. Maybe just one. Feels like just one. Idler roller A. Idle down, would ya? Uh, serpentine. Oh, we are gonna have a belt tensioner. I just remember that. And let's do VHR. It's just one serpentine belt. And then I know I'm gonna need a tensioner. It's a standard belt tensioner. So, look at that there. I think it's just the belt tensioner we're done. And then oil filter. V8. Oil. Now, of course, you can do shopping lists in this game, which is a really great feature. Uh, and for some reason, I just kind of don't use it. But I did use it for a long time, and now I don't. I'm not sure why. It is a cool feature. I think it's good for, like, off. I don't know. I don't know. You guys are probably all, like, rolling your eyes watching me do this. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about I'm sorry. I think it's just, like, habit. I've played this game for so long, this is how I play it. So my own special kind of torture. There's our new 
shiny looking performance throttle bodies. And not gonna put the engine cover on yet. It's not time. It's the same engine cover, we just, it's repaired. So it should look slightly prettier. And that should be very powerful engine. That should be everything. Beautiful. Okay, let's get it off our engine stand and let's install it in the car. Into the car you go. Goodbye, friend. Look at you. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. Okay, now we can... Uh, if I just, like, remove these, what happens? Oh. oh, okay. It does not... It gets a little bit mad at me for that. 50 credits? How much do I care? You know how much I care? None. I could drain it. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> that's, that's the worst. You're supposed to drain it. You should drain it. I'm not going to because I'm super lazy, but you are you are going to because you guys are really good um, video game technicians. Okay, so we've got a bunch of the accessory stuff figured out here now. Replaced, everything's good. ABS pump and uh, modular are good to go. Battery's new. Uh, ECU's new. We fixed all the relay stuff in here. A bunch of boring stuff. We got performance air filters in our air boxes. Stuff's good. Uh, we don't have much left. We just kind of need to put together the drivetrain parts, but that's really fast. So we can look at this cool dual drive shaft setup, which is pretty interesting. Let's take a look at this. Oh, we also have our performance front exhaust pipe V8B, two of those, shiny, wonderful. Uh, yeah, so we've just got a simple flywheel cover here, which covers the flywheel, and then there's a direct drive shaft <clears throat> out of it. It's super, super interesting. I don't fully understand it. And it goes right back to this uh, transfer case in the back, this transmission. So I don't really get how the, the front of it works, I guess is what I should say. Because it doesn't look at the whole thing spins. I guess maybe inside that it, it, there's a there's a shaft that goes all the way to the actual flywheel. There is a clutch and all that in there. But like in the real car, there isn't a manual version of the GTR. So, uh, but yeah, so it drives the rear wheels. And then from the rear wheels, another drive shaft to drive the front wheels. Super crazy really interesting. I had no idea the GTR 2 drive shaft. So, um, with that, are we, how are we looking? Frame, good. Parts, pretty good. Interior, good. Parts, we're missing, we're missing a percent. Um, that may, let's see, does that actually matter? It probably matters. What do we miss? Large intercooler. Oh yeah, I got a, I got a performance intercooler also, because you can get a performance version. So there it is shinier oh yeah we do need to put our starter back in as well so with hopefully with those two things we're up to 100 percent and then we just gotta do body yeah okay body it is good oh i need to put oil in it i forgot i did every fluid except for oil we should do oil oil is important uh, i'm told that oil is important is that nope it's not that uh, okay oh man i shouldn't have done oil on camera because i don't know where there it is <coughs> wait, 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 wait. You're telling me I have to take the engine cover off to put oil in it? Why? No. No. You're gonna... I have never actually had to do this uh, in a... with a car in this game. I've never had to remove the engine cover to put oil in it. That's the first. Although there's not engine covers in that many of them, I guess. So maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah. Anyway, that's annoying. Dumb. Dumb. I would think that the, the, the can we just like the funnel couldn't the funnel just do it? That's all right. Whatever. We got oil. Oil's important. Okay. It's an engine. It's a car. It looks good. I'm excited to drive it. I'm excited. I'm really excited to drive it. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna mess with paint because I just really want to drive it at this point. Uh, let's see. Where are we at here? Rear bumper got that and actually are there tuning are there body tuning for this car just because i'm kind of curious i'm kind of guessing there's not going to be yeah oh that's cool looking okay i was i kind of figured there wouldn't be <coughs> let's see gta what no oh really um community no mm, really nissan Nissan. Mm, oh, GT Dash R. Ooh, actually, then let me just to make sure. 
Okay, yeah. All right. Hey, look, there it is. <clears throat> All right, we'll see what we need. Okay, trunk, fix that. How many tail lights? Sad. Can't fix those. License plates? Need them. Doors, fixed. Fenders, sad. <laughs> Couldn't fix them. Eh, need a hood. Mirror, meh, nope. All right, cool, so we, we need some stuff. Door's good. How about this fender? Hey, I got that one. Front bumper? Nope. All right. How are we looking here? We got the left mirror. That's cool. Oh. And, oh, it's the wrong color. I might keep this color, honestly. It's kind of cool. Is that it? Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. Got a lot of parts here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to throw trash, 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 trash. Throw, sell, 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 sell. Sell, sell. And I don't know why I bought those. That was a weird thing to buy because it's obviously turbocharged. Hey. Okay. Hood. Yes. Windows. Need them. We need the right fender. We need that. We need headlights. We need taillights. We need windshield. We need rear window. I think that's it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. It was, that was pretty rapid fire. Oh, I missed the front bumper. Cool. <laughs> great. Not great. Boop, 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 boop. I'm so excited to drive this. I'm so excited to see a dyno. How much power is it going to make? You tell me. What do you think? Oh, come on. I, I didn't do that. It, it's not my fault. It's my fault. Okay. Right side mirror. Body window. Rear window. Mm, Got to get some taillights up in here. Do you like those taillights? Very iconic. Yep. Got some real color matching issues going on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, license plates. And then we can paint it. And then we can align it. Align the headlights for, for you know, because we should. Where are we going to be from? Yeah, Texas truck. You know what? Honestly, that's it right there. Texas truck it is. Definitely going to get pulled over. I'm a Texas truck. Those are so stupid. I don't like those lights. It's fine. It's good. I like it. And I like it because it's stupid. Wow, I didn't realize we don't pull them straight here. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's go paint shop. Let's go paint shop. Uh, your car is dirtied. Oh, I thought I washed it. Okay, fine. We will wash it again. I, th I thought I already washed it. I already did this. Oh, it does look cleaner, though. So apparently... Oh, the door... Oh, so the doors didn't get cleaned. I thought there was a color mismatch, but they actually were dirty. Okay, so back to the very start of the video. Um, there you go. You gotta actually paint the body panels, or it'll tell you that you didn't. That's cool. That's realistic. Thanks, game. Current color, gloss. Ooh, is, was it gloss? Was it always a gloss? Ooh. Metallic is interesting. Can I, like... Very shiny. Eh. Matte. It's too matte. Matte chameleon. Custom. Gloss. I don't know. The gloss doesn't like looks too light. Custom. It's very shiny. Very shiny. The matte's too light. Pearl. Eh. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's just go. I like this weird color. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. Oh, oh wow! I thought I was gonna paint it green. I thought I was gonna paint that really ugly green. <clears throat> Man, these are 21 inch rims, and they honestly look small in these wheel wells. It's kind of crazy. They should have done 23s apparently. Man, they look small. I mean, it's not horrible, but and uh, yeah, I got the gold wheels. We could paint the wheels. You can do that, um, I, I think. That is a thing you can do. Although, no, I have to like take the wheels off and bring them in here. I'm not going to do that because I really just want to be done and I want to drive this. And so, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to talk in the dark. We're going to... That looks completely different here. Okay, whatever. The color is all over the place. Uh, let's do our wheel alignment. Kind of mess. Good. If you don't do this, it drives terribly. And then you say, wow, why did I spend all this money on this car that drives like garbage? I always like to go in, make sure it's good, and then you can do your wheel, your headlight 
alignment as well is very off on the left the left headlight let's go over here good and then you switch over to right this one needs to go up okay I just have to check again good not that the headlights really matter that much okay uh, how much money are we gonna make on this bad boy actually did we get a hundred yep hundred percent all the way around how much are we gonna make 121,000 it is worth almost 200,000 credits let's see how much power do we get when you put a lot of performance parts in a Nissan GTR I'm excited 530 horsepower stock 587 Newton meters of torque at 5,910 rpm stock I'm hoping for a thousand horse I think it's possible it sounds very weird the engine noise is kind of kind of strange oh. I guess it's not so bad come on big money big money big money big money oh pretty close 949 horsepower and we broke a thousand newton meters of torque that's that's crazy. Okay, let's drive it and see just how crazy it is. We're going to just take it to the racetrack, and uh, we'll see uh, how fast I can go, I guess. Nissan GTR R35, drive. There she is in a very weird shade of blue that looks much more gray now. And here's the inside. Let's do it. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that is fast. Oh, that is so fast. Oh, that is easily the fastest car I've ever driven in this game. Holy crap, I can't turn. Wow, it is fast. That is an absolute rocket. It just hooks. It hooks unlike any car does, like, unlike cars do in this game. Wow. And I'm notoriously bad for going into corners way too fast in this game. Wow, that is fast. That is shockingly quick. Oh, we are going to really test those brakes. Man, I even tried to, like, brake pretty early. I'm on keyboard here, so... I don't know how much the ABS is helping helping me out. Wow. This thing, the, the acceleration though is pretty impressive. I put race tires on it? I don't know if slicks would have... Holy cow, I just don't have the braking. <laughs> I don't know how to brake. I don't know if I use controller, if I could, if I could brake more effectively. Oh, the braking is absolute garbage, though. Trying to drive clean in this game is pretty rough. If there was a racing line, I think I would need to start braking now for the next corner. Actually, this is a pretty gentle one. This one's less gentle. Oh my god! Oh my god! The braking is so bad! E brake! Oh, woohoo! Jeez. Can I drift? Wow, kinda. Oh my gosh. Sub two minute though. Easy. Man, you might actually be better off trying to drift it. I mean, not really drift it, but like do something really shifty. Because the braking's so bad. Just muscle it around the corners like that. And just pure throttle. It does bog a bit though. Wow, I cannot believe how fast this is. Is there another car that accelerates faster than this one? Like, this is nuts. Jeez! <laughs> I just can't slow it down. Oh my gosh. What are this thing tops out at? Might not actually be that high, it just gets there really quickly. Listen to that turbo. What is it even doing? Turbo. Turbos. Dual. They are noisy little critters. Listen to them. What? even it sounds so weird dude this is the just the four-wheel drift just trying to get it around corners oh my gosh I don't can I beat my last lap time that's the question here can this shady driving look at that though that's the that's the ticket maybe I still feel like I, I probably just do better to bounce off walls in this game I don't recommend it in real life can we beat 137? I don't know. I don't think so. Not with this lap. Oh my god. Not with this lap. Not with this lap. Yeah, I don't know. I think you're probably just better off bouncing off the walls. Maybe better off bouncing off the walls than actually just driving. 
like driving this right. Holy. Okay. Well, there it is. Wow. A uh, from auction and pretty rough condition to beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a GTR. It's extremely fast. It is extremely fast and a lot of fun and very pretty, and despite its kind of weird color. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, you want to see more videos of Car Mechanic Center 2021 or any other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.